Hey you guys, Photoscape X allows you to use their film effect, which is similar to things that you might see on Instagram, but there are a lot of tools in here to make adjustments or change the look, feel, mood of your image. So let's dive into that today and also ask a question about some of the naming that goes on with these film effects. And can you set any presets or rename them? Uh, we're going to answer that question too. So first of all, when you are working on an image, you have it in the editor, you have access to this film tab, you know, you'll start out in the editor, you'll go over here to film, and this opens up a drop down on your right hand side that shows every type of film effect that it has. If you have the free version, you have a uh, probably about 50% access to uh, these different um, effects in these different categories. If you do get the pro model, you get even more, which is nice, but I think that even the free model gives you enough, um, enough film effects in here to satisfy the vast majority of uh, editors. So let's look at this. Uh, you have things like, oh, cinematic or cross press uh, process or, you know, cocktail or uh, street food. It's kind of some strange naming here. Um, but then you also get some weird ones here. This one is the O00. Or down a bit further, you have the A04. And you have uh, this G01. And there's a lot of different, you know, um, effects here and the challenge is that the naming is less than desirable it's kind of challenging uh, because you might find stuff you really like but down the road are you gonna think oh man I want to add something here I need to use that G01 uh, it's gonna be kind of tough to remember the naming of all of these but really most of the time you're just going through and seeing oh what looks kind of nice what looks pretty cool type of a thing if you wanted a quick and easy fix because if you wanted to do it more naturally and organically, you would go over here to color and you would say, oh, yes, I want to brighten this image a bit more. I'd like to turn up the vibrance um, on this image. The clarity needs to go up. I want to boost that contrast. Oh, not this much, not that much. And you could still get some really nice uh, film effects there, but it'd be more natural and it would take a bit longer than just looking through some presets that are already made. Unfortunately, if you have one you really like, there is no way to edit or to rename them. There's also not really any um, real simple way to favorite them, like star them and put them at the top of the page. Unfortunately, Photoscape X does not allow you to do that right now. Uh, but let's look at some of these other tabs in here because, you know, there's some unfortunate things, but there are still a lot of really great tools in this film tab. So you have two-tone, which is... Um, let's make sure I haven't changed anything yet. Going over here, two-tone, you have some different things like cinematic or, you know, some different things. But this is doing a two-tone effect instead of just a uh, just simple film, uh, just kind of a filter over the top. Uh, this has a little bit more of a dynamic look and flair to it. Uh, the exact, you know, difference between film and uh, dual-tone. I might have to look that up, uh, but then you have like looks, so you have this, like some of this is probably messing a bit more with the hue sliders and stuff, like you click that, it changed it to an orange car, and the sky is this really neat blue, instead of kind of what it was uh, before, where, yeah, very interesting how it pulls out some of these different colors, that orange and red must be real close on the color wheel, and that adjustment must just kind of put it out there. Speaking of which, if I ever did get Tesla, that would be a pretty sweet color. All right, next you have like overlays. This is where you can add like some different uh, kind of gradients or textures to kind of layer over the top of this. And one thing that's nice is that down here, there's different things like you can change the amount. You can also change the scale, which you can kind of see how that, um, how that texture is getting zoomed in or zoomed out, depending on how you slide the scale. You can also do this to adjust the direction of it like the up and down left and right and you can also kind of rotate it if there's like a real certain look you're trying to get there uh, you also can do some different changes of how it blends in with your image like you can do it where it darkens or pin light or some of these like 
um, invert colors. Like there are some that are really exaggerated. One thing that's nice is there's always the default button to go back to what it was originally. And there's the compare button to compare between what it was to start and what it is later. It's also a reverse, which is also kind of random, but it's nice to see that there's so many different options here in like the overlay tab. You've got old photos, which is very similar. It's just exaggerated on like having the image cracked or um, kind of distorted in a certain way. Um, still lots of neat uh, effects that you're able to add here and dial it in with the amount. Uh, you have dirt. Uh, this is going to be just different textures and things. Um, and what's interesting is that you can actually select here, like if you want the dirt to be white, gray, black, and if you want it to have a bit of a shadow. So just once again, more uh, adjustments that you can make to images if you're using it for a very specific purpose. It's kind of nice. All right, so then we can hop over here to textures. You can make some kind of a fabric design. Um, let's like, can we zoom in? That's kind of an unfortunate thing. You're not really able to zoom in on your image when you're in these certain effects. Now, if I apply this effect, then I can zoom in and see, oh wow, look at that fabric-y thing that I did there. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, and I can hit undo, of course. Uh, but yeah, you can see what it looks like, but you can't really zoom in uh, super close on there. Next, you can go over here to extras. This is more scratches, uh, uh, just kind of crazy stuff here. Um, it looks pretty interesting. And because you're able to change the amount and what's nice is this, this is a part of their uh, overlay and texture effects that are in like their text, uh, uh, their insert text features and things. But what's nice is that you're able to have more control over the exact color and get your color picker tool. You can go in and select a color you want there. You know, there's more that you can do. And for more abstract photos, it could be helpful in different scenarios. So uh, very interesting. Uh, it's nice that they give you all that um, as far as features in the film effect tool. Uh, uh, but yeah, I would love for them to add uh, a way to favorite my uh, certain items just to bring them up to the top of the selection. Renaming isn't a must, but it would be really cool. I think favoriting would do a huge, uh, a huge thing for what they're doing. Cause yeah, sometimes if you change the names of stuff, then it could be tougher to find it down the road if someone's like, oh yes, um, do this. Um, you know, I don't know. I'd still think just favoriting would probably fix a huge amount of the issues. Uh, let me share uh, one other thing in here with you, um, or two. We've got the light effect, which is similar as well. It kind of goes hand in hand. Definitely try that out. It messes with a bunch of different colors and just different things that could make it, the image just look really cool. Uh, just to add a little more pop and flair to it. Very similar, uh, but there's a lot of little, little adjustments or things you can do, like moving stuff around. Definitely try all that stuff out. It's very fun to be able to do all of that. Um, but then as far as for the people who say, hey, I really just want this one specific effect and I want to be able to apply it real quick and not have to dig for it every single time, I'm going to give you the workaround best case scenario that you can do right now. If you have Photoscape X Pro, here's what you can do. Go over here to Macros, and uh, this is going to, or Micro, and what you're able to do is apply a simple effect. Basically, you can say, oh, I'm gonna go to film. My favorite effect of all time is this, uh, let's say it is this F1, because this F1, F01 thing is so cool, it's awesome. You know, you hit apply. There you go, you have it. And then you can go over here to Micros, you can hit save, and it's gonna save that one film effect. You can save it as the name, so it's like, I'm gonna change it to, you know, that one film effect. Um, you know, the one that you can never remember. Then down the road, let's say you're editing another image. So you're like, hey, here's another, you know, Tesla vehicle here, or maybe you have, you know, my personal vehicle, and it's like, okay, this is going to be great. I'm going to apply that same effect. I'm going to hit play and I can find the effect here. Or you even can just hit micro and you can go down here and hit, uh, you know, that one film effect. Uh, you can hit that. Then you can go into film and you can see, oh yeah, it is that one that I was looking at. You can change the amount and you can even see a little preview of what it'll look like with that effect applied. Uh, so that's really nice. 
and then you can apply it right then and there. Um, so you wouldn't have to go digging for it per se. The only problem is that you would have to really know that what you're wanting because it's like, okay, so you're spending the time to click into here to then hit okay. And if you don't like it, you do have to undo it. And if you don't think it's the perfect fit or feel to it, you'd have to go back into film and search through the whole section again. So at this point, if you can remember kind of just, oh yeah, it's in the film, it's like G something or other, you know, then you can look at the ones that are nearby it to see if there's something that's also similar to what you want. Um, yeah, I, I still think that what would be super helpful is that if they had a top row where it would just hold your favorites, just like they have over here with the file folder where you have folders, you have favorites, and then you can have both where you have your favorited folders up here at the top then down below you have just everything i want something like that over here in photoscape x pro or even in the free model where you can right click and just hit favorite that would be perfect that'd be awesome nonetheless this has been just looking at the film tab in photoscape x also answering that uh, you know question about the naming and stuff like that it's not the best but it gives you a lot of flexibility and I use it a lot when I'm working with some quick images. Nonetheless, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.